Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given an integer array and we have to sort these numbers in ascending order based on the number of ones in their binary representation. It is also given that if two or more numbers have the same number of ones in their binary representation, then we have to group those numbers and then sort them in ascending order. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. For this example, we are given an array and to understand this problem better, let's represent each number by their binary format. We are given that we have to count the number of ones. For example, 4 has only one ones in its binary format. Similarly, we can list down the number of ones in each of these binary formats. And since we have to sort all these numbers starting from the least number of ones, we are going to start with zero ones. We have only one such number and we can see that it appears first in the output. Now we are going to try to find all the numbers with only one bit set. And we have four such numbers, one, two, four and eight. Since there is a clash, they will appear in the output in sorted order. Similarly, we'll try to find all the numbers with two ones. We have three such numbers, three, five and six and they will appear in the output in sorted order. And finally, we'll try to find all the numbers with three bit set. We have only one such number and it will appear last at the output. Now there are no more elements left. Hence, this is the output. Let's try to come up with a solution for this. The very first part of the problem is that we have to count the number of ones for each integer. There are many ways to do that. You can try to use the bin function in Python which returns the binary format of a number as a string and then count the number of one characters in it. For example, this will be the binary format for 7. We'll get two extra characters at the start which we can ignore and then starting from the second index we can count the number of ones. Before using this binary function, you should first ask your interviewer if this is allowed or else you can use the second approach that we'll see right now. In this approach, we'll eliminate all the ones set in the original number. For that, we'll and it with n minus 1 and then we'll update our original number with this value and repeat this process in a loop till our number is not equal to 0. We'll try to understand how this works with the help of an example. In this example, our original number is 14 and we'll and it with 13. In this case, the rightmost one will have to and with 0. So the next time it will become 0. This will be the binary representation for 12 and we'll use this to continue our process. This time we'll and 12 with 11. Again we can see that the rightmost one will be and with 0 and then it will become 0. This is the binary representation for 8 and it will become our new n. Now we'll and it with 7. We see that the rightmost one which is the only one will now become 0. This operation took 3 steps, hence the number of ones will be 3. Now let's try to understand why this method works. If we consider any number, if we just focus on the rightmost one in it, if we were to consider the binary representation of n-1, that particular bit will always be 0, no matter the number n is even or odd. Hence when we add them together, the result will become 0 at that bit. Hence starting from the right, for each one bit, if we repeat this process, we'll get 0 finally. And the number of times we had to do that will be the number of ones. Ok, so now we have figured out how to count the number of ones in an integer. Let's use that to solve our problem. We see that we have to find all the numbers with the same number of ones and somehow we have to maintain them as a group and finally we have to sort these numbers within that group. We can achieve this using multiple ways but this problem definitely comes into the category of bucket sort. We have already solved a problem using bucket sort in this channel. I'll recommend you to check that out after this video by clicking on the top. Now let's begin with our solution. In this solution, we'll create multiple buckets where the key to each bucket will be the number of ones set in it. 
and finally once we have all these buckets we have to start from the bucket containing zero ones and then look at other buckets in increasing order it is also given in the problem that if there are multiple values in the same bucket we have to sort them in increasing order hence this is why this algorithm is called as bucket sort because once we have our individual buckets we have to sort them one final question you might have is how do we know how many buckets we have to create we know that we have to start from bucket 0 but how do we determine the upper bound it is given in the problem that the maximum value can only be 10000 but let's try to see how many buckets we might need if the maximum value could have been 1 billion let's use 2 raised to power 10 as a reference for calculations we can approximately consider this to be 1000 we can also write 1 billion as 1000 cube because 1 billion is 10 to the power 9 similarly if we were to cube 2 raised to the power 10 this would be approximately a billion so in that case 30 buckets should be enough to solve the problem because that number can be represented using 30 bits if this part is still unclear just use a safe number such as 32 the time complexity of this would be o of n log n because all the numbers can fall on the same bucket and we have to sort them and the space complexity would be o of n because we have to store all the numbers in the buckets let's implement our solution let's initialize our 32 empty buckets so we'll initialize an empty list for each of the 32 buckets we'll initialize an empty list for our output now let's write our utility function that counts the number of bits in an integer we'll keep a variable to track the number of ones we'll repeat the process till our number n does not become zero each time we'll end our number with n minus one this will replace the rightmost one by zero and for each such operation we'll increment our count by one and finally when our number becomes zero we can return the count now we'll go through all the numbers in our array and for each number we'll count the number of ones set in it and once we have found the number of ones we'll add it to the respective bucket list once we have created our buckets we'll start from the lowest bucket and sort all the entries in ascending order and once we have the sorted bucket we can add it to the list using this extend function if we don't use this extend function then in that case we'll have to iterate over this bucket and then add the elements individually now we can return our result we are done with our solution if this video was helpful please leave a like feedback and also subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this and see you again